Welcome back. Now something a little different for facing. We're taking you on a search for the giant squid for the first time it was captured on video in U.S. waters earlier this year in the Gulf of Mexico. I spoke with the ocean explorer who shared how her team was able to capture the squid for all to see. Giant squid astern, sir. I think we've all seen the Disney Jules Verne version of the giant squid. We'll be fighting at close quarters with the most tenacious of all sea beasts. Stay clear of the tentacles. They'll seize anything within reach and hang on to the death. You can't ask for a much better monster than a giant squid. And it's got eight arms and two extremely long lashing tentacles that can grasp onto anything. It's got a parrot's type beak that can rip flesh. It's got eyes that are bigger than any other eyes in the known animal kingdom, the size of a human head. And it's got a jet propulsion system that goes equally fast, forward or backwards. It's got three hearts that pump blue blood. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. A deep sea explorer and founder of the Ocean Research and Conservation Association, Edith Witter had long wondered why no one had been able to photograph a giant squid where it lives deep below the surface. There's so many mysteries in the depths, but we've explored so very little of it, and we've had such little access. Suspecting they were scared off by the lights and noisy engines of submersible vessels, she designed a silent optical lure that emits a light pattern that mimics a deep sea jellyfish. And the first time I used that was on an expedition off Japan in 2012. And we recorded a giant squid, which was kind of considered the holy grail of natural history cinematography. This year, with funding from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Witter set sail for the Gulf of Mexico. For more than a week, the lore, dubbed the Medusa, trailed their research vessel without any luck. The first time we put it out, we put out more than a lot, mile of line. Um, so it could go down more than 6,000 feet into the ocean and float around down there. Video would be uploaded every couple of days for the scientists to review. And my colleague, Nathan Robinson, and I, who were working on this together, had been trading off looking at the video. <laughs> Witter recalls the moment Robinson walked into the ship's dining room. He didn't say anything, but his eyes were just about popping out of his head. So I knew something important was on the video, and I followed him back into the lab. And there it was this tubular shape kind of in the distance, swimming along. And I mean, that was exciting enough because I could tell it was a squid. And then it attacks. And it comes out of the gloom straight at the camera. And it was huge. The video of the 20-foot giant squid, 100 miles off of New Orleans, captured the public's attention. People are very interested in this kind of thing. and. We need to make people more aware of just how many incredible things there are in our ocean and what we need to be doing to protect them because we are on the verge of destroying the ocean before we even know what's in it. Witter hopes the video will spur renewed interest in our oceans. As she points out, we have explored less than 1% of the ocean floor and that we actually have better maps of the moon and Mars than we do of our own planet. Pretty cool.